Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. So I'm attempting to make another gift. I'm looking for monogrammed coasters. I had something specific in mind, but I couldn't find anything on printables. So I actually found this belly vase that has a very similar shape. It's by Clara's Little Artworks. I like that it's a solid one piece. I think I can make this work, so I'm going to go ahead and download it. Okay, I pulled it into Tinkercad, and it is a very cute shape. I think that overall it has what I'm looking for, but of course I want something that's going to be quite a bit smaller. So I kind of squished it and stretched it out at the same time. I went from 1.787 tall to 0.813. And then the width and depth was a little bit under 3 inches, and I'm going to go ahead and stretch it out to 4 inches. I want to make more than one of these, and I want them to also interlock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice off the bottom of it just a little bit and I'm hoping that that is going to help them kind of set inside of each other. So I slice off about a quarter inch or so off of the bottom. And if you're wondering why these numbers are kind of strange, it's because I did actually try this a couple different ways and this was the way that it, they finally worked. So the numbers are a little funny, but it does turn out. Okay, so the next thing is I need to hollow this out so that you can actually put a glass or beverage or something inside of it. This ends up being about 0.4 inches tall and 4 inches round, or about 10 millimeters tall and 100 millimeters wide. Okay, I think the interlocking is going to work, but I do need to add the initial so that it's monogrammed. I center this, it doesn't look quite right, so I go ahead and move it over just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so now you can see what I started with, the belly vase and the coaster that I have ready to go. I've got a G ready. I pull this into slicer and I'm going to print this on the Mark IV. Just regular settings, 0.15 quality, PLA, nothing fancy. And it's going to take just under two and a half hours. Okay, so this is an anniversary gift, and rather than doing a bunch of them with the same initial, I was thinking that since the last name is pretty short, it would be fun to do each coaster with the different initials so that it spells out the last name. So I started with a G and I wanted to use that same flint rock from Overture. I liked the kind of slow transition of the color. So I wanted to see if I could make that work on this and have just a slow transition on the coasters. Okay, so let's see how this turned out. I like the color. I don't see stringing, you know, in a, in the middle of this at all. The initial turned out pretty well, and I think it, I think it's good. I didn't change the uh, infill, so it's kind of a diagonal, and I think overall it looks pretty good. The it's, it's kind of a smooth transition. I'm not seeing a ton of sagging from that overhang. I think it'll work. But after I did the G, I realized that I, I should have done the G last. I wanted the G to be the top one. So I go ahead and do the other letters, and I'm going to flip them around so that it's kind of a smooth transition from the bottom all the way up and get to a darker color on the top. So I jump to the A as the next thing to print. This print turned out good. I'm glad that I caught that not too far into the name. And this print... I think the colors are going to work out really well. Same thing, I don't see any stringing in the middle. There's a little bit of overhang on the sides that I may need to clean up, but I'm really not seeing a ton of stringing. The bottom looks pretty good. I do just see like one or two spots that I'm going to have to just snip off with the snippers, but I think that's that works. And I was trying to not get the color change to be like dead center. I want it to be smooth, so I think this will work. I moved on to the Z as the next letter. This one also printed really good. I do see just a tiny bit of gapping on the very top of the letter, but it's not bad, and I'm kind of in a time crunch, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it as I already have the settings. I can see just a little bit of color shift on this one. It's getting a little bit darker. And now to see if they do actually interlock. That's I wanted to be able to stack them and them not slide all over the place. So with this pattern, it worked out perfect. You can see those curves almost turn into like interlocking teeth, and that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the next letter, that's an R. And yeah, you can see that it's getting slightly darker as it's going along. 
This one turned out nice as well. All of these have great adhesion to the bed. Yeah, I like the R. You can see a little bit of shift in the color at the very bottom, but it doesn't look bad. After each print, I wanted to stack them and make sure that they still look good together. Not only are they going to continue to interlock, but does the color look good as it shifts? And I really like this. I think it turned out really cool. It's very smooth, and I think as long as it continues, it's going to work out great. Okay, the next letter is another A, and this one is printing well. The color is getting just a little bit darker. I'm getting more nervous that it's going to not work out in the end, but we'll see. This one prints good as well, and good bed adhesion pops off the bed pretty easily though as well, but everything's real smooth, the top looks good. I'm trying to get the shine so you can see that, and the sides look good as well. And there's a little bit of a hair on the bottom there, but at least it wasn't part of the bottom layer. So yeah, I think this turned out good. I want to continue to see how they look all together as they stack. And yeah, you can see that that one's starting to shift. It's turning a little bit pinker, but it looks good. I don't see any harsh line in the middle of any of the coasters. I think it's going smooth. And then the last letter that's going to be on top when they all stack is going to be the G. So I'm reprinting that and I'm hoping that this color turns out. Okay, so here's the final letter, and I am super happy that there's not some super light stripe on the very top. It looks really good. It printed good just like the other ones, and the coloring is really nice. So let's see how it looks all together with the other ones stacked together. Okay, I think the color change is really pretty. Each one looks a little bit different, but they all go really smooth. You don't see any funny lines in the middle. I'm kind of surprised that this worked out, but I'm super happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you think of these monogram coasters. Would you make these as a gift for someone? Did you like how they turned out printing? Did you like the color shifts? Thanks for watching.